let this sink in. The time has come. We play Brentford at Old Trafford. A 4-0 scoreline in the first round between the two of us. And that day hurt. Absolutely everything went wrong on that day. Nothing that Ten Hag wanted to do worked. We were absolutely abysmal. And come to think of it, it is no different to the way we played against Newcastle. But this is a fresh game, an opportunity to bounce back. But against a team that is unbeaten in their last 16 games. And for a team like Brentford, you might say that they're overachieving in the way they are performing. But not with Thomas Frank. They actually have a system of playing. They actually execute that system quite well. And there is no way that they deviate from their system. They seem to tweak it here and there, depending on the opposition. But their core principles remain, and that is the reason why they are so successful. Now, of course, Ten Hag has a similar mindset in terms of performance, in terms of the technical details. But we are completely in a different situation. We are a club that is expected to win, expected to win trophies. Whereas Brentford certainly has to just perform a bit above their status. And they simply would be achieving more than what they should. We've had our problems this season, the likes of Ronaldo. We've also seen certain things not go so well off. We've certainly had our issues off the field and certainly on the field. But we've come quite far since that game against Brentford. A lot has changed. The way we see the club, the way we see the team going forward right now is a much more positive light. And you take the game against Newcastle as a learning curve. You take it as a mindset change. Because as I said before, this is the business end to the season. And this is where results matter more than performance. We find ourselves outside of the top four. Spurs dropping points but still going above us. Our goal difference is not so good. And because of that, points is more important to us. And right now, every single game we play in the Premier League is important. We cannot drop points because that will leave us falling behind. That cannot happen. Too much work has been put in to how far we have come under Ten Hag for it to be absolutely destroyed by not getting a top four finish. Brentford, in my opinion, is a much more tougher outfit than Newcastle. We know that their players will certainly do as much as they can to get the win. They will press us high. They basically saw that against Newcastle, we can fall frail to losing the ball in dangerous positions in our defensive third. We once again won't have Casemiro and Again, the midfield will be important and key to us winning this game. Another key battle will be Varane against Ivan Toni. We know that they will play the ball long to him or even play it to his feet. He is capable in both facets of the forward game. And he's able to run in behind as well. So whether Varane or Martinez is able to deal with him, we will have to see. But I trust in them to do so. We know that Brentford will try to cause another upset. They are quite good at playing away from home against the big teams. My starting eleven simply is the same back five with the gear, Shaw, Martinez, Varane. And I want Juan Bissaka to start. I wanted him to start against Newcastle and the same goes for this particular game. I know that offensively he might not be as good as the low, but defensively he provides a stability on the right hand side that Varane can trust. In our midfield, I would want to see Sabitzer start with Fred. McTominay didn't show himself too much in the game against Newcastle, and Fred and Sabitzer together would give us more energy. 
With the way Brentford would want to press, we need the energy and mobility in midfield to able to get across the pitch quite quickly and Fred and Sabitzer can allow this for us. Of course, the front four, I feel Ten Hag would not change, mainly because one, Martial would not be fit enough to start in my opinion and if he does start, I would be surprised. Rashford, I think, would continue to start on the left and Anthony remaining on the right. A bit of news right now if you stayed thus far into the video and thank you if you have done so, I appreciate your support. Shaw has signed a new long-term contract and Ten Hag himself said that he is pleased that Shaw has signed a new contract as he feels he is going to be part of the squad for the journey that we are on. We know Shaw has come leaps and bounds since his leg break back then and he has proven himself to be one of the best left backs in England and also Europe. Surprising news right now also coming out today, in my opinion just a bunch of rumours for him to get a new contract at Chelsea. Mason Mount is open by Chelsea to be sold and as a further rumour that has come out, Ten Hag himself has seen to be keen on signing Mason Mount. To our takeover news and via the Bloomberg in the UK, it is said that UK government officials have privately flagged concerns about Man United bidder Sheikh Hassim according to people familiar with the matter. Now, if it's privately flagged, firstly, it cannot be in the papers. And secondly, why is it an issue for us to get the amount of wealth that the Qatar owners can offer while the likes of Newcastle and other clubs do it freely, such as City, and nothing gets said? to our press conference that we listened to of Ten Hag. And one of the things that took, he basically said, we played 60 minutes against Southampton with 10 men and beat Fulham, a Premier League opponent. We beat Newcastle in the cup and it's a Premier League opponent. So there's no concern. We know we can beat Premier League teams. Simply no panic after the 2-0 loss. Our second loss in 27 games. Ten Hag has also confirmed that Eriksen has returned to squad training after two months out with an ankle injury. And if you add that with Casemiro coming back two games from now, we definitely will have our first choice midfield back in play. Casemiro, Eriksen and Bruno. And that will definitely be a massive boost to us for the rest of the season. If Martial can stay fit as well, we definitely can have a very strong first 11 capable of taking on and beating anyone that comes our way. But right now, we focus on Brentford. We have to take revenge for what they did to us, mainly because of our own faults. But we can take revenge for personal pride, for pride of the club, and to show that the game against Newcastle was a one-off. Bouncing back is important, and we need the three points. Every single three points is important. Thanks for watching. If you want more content on Manchester United, like, share and subscribe.